Easter Seals Midwest strives to provide assistance to individuals of all abilities, including those with autism spectrum disorder. With Halloween just around the corner, Chris Krieger are often looking for ways to make this year's celebration uh, autism and sensory friendly. Uh, I'm joined today by Chris Krieger to tell us more about it. Chris, thank you for joining us today. Thanks so much for having us. Fantastic. Um, so for a positive, um, all ability trick-or-treating experience, you might uh, forego the loud music and excessive flashing lights and consider possibly passing out things, uh, extra things besides candy and food, food items for individuals that might have dietary restrictions or food allergies and um, be patient because not all disabilities are visible. You may have a teenager or a young adult that comes to the door where their maturation or their maturity and developmental level don't match their age. Or somebody with uh, less developed fine motor skills might be grabbing more than one piece of candy. Mm -hmm. This is an important far-reaching awareness that needs to happen because I think we make an assumption that they all come to the door, we, we might try to scare or dump a bunch of candy and that may not be right for right, all children. Right. So not just the parents of children, but for, for us who are serving, exactly, exactly, exactly. Well then you all, um, Easter Seals Midwest focuses on children of all abilities. Can you tell me a little bit more about the mission uh, more broadly? Sure, Easter Seals Midwest is a not-for-profit. Um, we work really hard through our services that we provide to change the way the, the world views disabilities. Uh, we are broken up into four divisions. We have autism services, community living, um, early childhood services, and employment services. Fantastic. So we work with all ages. And then what had you focus on this time of year in particular and, and the impact that may have? Maybe we need to understand a little bit more about what it means to have uh, sen sensory sensitivity as well as uh, autism response to certain stimulus. What Absolutely. Do, what does that mean? Well, first of all, when you stop and think about, about it, Halloween and Thanksgiving and the other holidays, they come once a year, so it's not part of their regular routine. So they're gonna have things that are out of schedule, out of routine, and they may respond differently. You know, having that prediction ahead of time that their day is gonna look different. Um, there may be crowds. Um, if they need to ask for a break, it's okay. Um, as far as Halloween is concerned, if they're trick-or-treating and just wanna go to one or two houses, that's all right. That's okay with them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you focused on this and found that there was a, a, a need or a great opportunity to respond to the community you serve. Mm -hmm. What has been the response? Is this your first time doing this? Um, as far as the, the, the trick-or-treating event, event has been around for, um, like, I think, four years. Oh, I've excellent. done it last year and this year. Sure. Um, but um, it's been a very positive, mm -hmm. um, a positive response. Parents are appreciative because they can come with their child and in a safe environment where there are supports in place should they need help and everybody's dealing with the same thing right. so right. no there's no judgment that helps uh, that helps a lot Absolutely. and 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 then you're actually creating a new opportunity as, as well as instead of a, a stressful and uh, overwhelming uh, situation that could be whether they miss out or whether right. they participate they get to experience in exactly. it and um, it's okay if they don't like it mm -hmm. and they're making new connections and practicing skills that they're trying to learn mm -hmm. and um, reinforce. Pretty great. What have you heard from the families that have participated? Um, I've gotten emails um, like last year just thanking us for doing this event because going out in the evening trick-or-treating was not something that they could normally do. Right. Um, they didn't understand, you know, the child might not understand, um, but having the the games and the crafts mm -hmm. and the maze and they can practice trick-or-treating on the doors in our oh, building. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And you, you participated a little bit. You had a great costume. <laughs> Stay with us at STL Live. We'll learn more about making this Halloween season sensory and autism friendly. Stay close. <laughs> 